Ms. Galanda, and I just have one question. That's with respect to um, the Minister of Arts and Multiculturalism. Since your statement with respect to um, him saying or him issuing a statement speaking on Carnival in October, has he contacted you in any way or his office? No, no. I, all that I know of that is what I read in the newspaper. Uh, and I would have responded to what I read in the newspaper. But I will, I will expect that um, at some point in time that uh, the minister will approach us. Uh, if he does not, I will approach him because I, I believe that this is an issue, if it is not resolved, can embarrass both the central government and the Tobago House of Assembly. And, and I think that if you are in leadership position, you don't, you don't look for trouble. You don't exacerbate problems when they occur. You try to alleviate problems. And, and I feel that this is something that has to be discussed. And I just want to, to reiterate a point that I think uh, has escaped the minister and people who think like him. It is the whole concept of autonomy. And I want us all to understand that as Tobagonians. Autonomy by definition means that I can do something with which you do not agree as long as it's not illegal, as long as it's not unethical, as long as it's not immoral, and as long as it does not fall outside the parameters of our agreement. If it means that everything I do, you have to agree, I am not autonomous. And the point that I'm making to the minister and people who think like him is that if you respect whatsoever limited autonomy that the Tobago House of Assembly has, you have to accept that we can do things with which you do not agree, as long as they're not illegal, immoral, unethical, and do not fall outside of the parameter, parameters of our agreement. So therefore, if carnival responsibility in Tobago is that of the Tobago House of Assembly, the minister has every right, every right to say, I want a second carnival in Tobago. What he does not have a right to do is if the Tobago House of Assembly says no, whether he feel we're stupid, whether he feel we're wrong, he does not have the right to force a second carnival in Tobago on us. It's as simple as that. If you do that, you are saying that you are taking us back to the period before 1980. And therefore, it makes a mockery of all the talk about increased autonomy. If, you, if you're rearing a child or you, or you, 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 you do not retro, um, go into a state where, 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 where you retrogress. It, it is a, it is a, it's a continuum. And, and you see, that is what I find particularly frightening about these two incidents. The incidents with the, 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 the posture of the Minister of Arts and Multiculturalism and the incident with the Minister of the People and Social Development in relationship to, to, to the, uh, in relationship to the Tobago Regional uh, Authority, those two incidents signaling to me that they wish to take us back to a period even before, not even before 1990, before 1980. 